All right, now, it's, uh, it's always uh, a nice to catch up with old friends, even if they've been away for a very long time. And uh, after 400 years, beavers are to be introduced back into West Sussex. Yes, the semi-aquatic rodents, which help natural flood management and water quality, are to be given new homes at two locations, possibly as early as this spring. Well done. <laughs> Our eager beaver, Sean Killick, has the latest chapter in this tale of the riverbank. They're the world's second largest rodent, the size of a cocker spaniel. They don't eat fish, only plants. They come out at night and build dams more than a metre high, creating deep pools which act as a refuge and refrigerator to store food over winter. But 400 years ago, beavers were hunted to extinction in Britain for their meat, oils and fur. Now, though, they'll be swimming once again here at the Nep estate near Horsham, which over two decades has turned intensive farmland into a pioneering rewilding project. Two pairs of beavers from schemes in Scotland and Devon will be released under licence within a large enclosed area. It's hoped to replicate benefits found in the Devon project. They've helped with um, flood storage, so they take the peak off the flood when we get these big rain events. Um, they've helped buffer the site against drought, so when everywhere else is drying up, um, they've still got water there that can be provided um, around to other farmland. Um, so yeah, they, they have vast benefits that they give, and we've got loads of evidence now to show what those are. Not everyone is happy to see beavers back. Some are concerned if they're re-established nationwide, dams would be barriers to migratory fish and could flood nearby homes whose garden trees could also be gnawed down. But NEP believes its estate is the ideal location for a controlled trial. It's a prime site for some wetland restoration uh, and also the fact that we've got a huge amount of land that we can allow flooding to happen, we can allow their little ponds to pop up and we can uh, spend some time watching them, getting people excited about them. Long term, we'd love to see them back into the Sussex landscape as a wild free animal uh, rather than being an enclosed area. Well, they hope to be able to release the beavers here this spring. Over the next few weeks, they'll be finishing off their preparations, including reinforcing perimeter fencing, putting grills over the culverts to ensure that the beavers can't wander off the estate here during the five-year trial. Sean Killick, BBC South Today, Horsham. That'll be interesting, won't it? Very interesting. Right, let's